33 to 20, zero by Royal. Nothing on the scoreboard for Royal to show. But here they are deep into the treaty territory. Can they make a score? They come back very strongly. They got a free penalty for not raising the ball. They made a quick tap. They referred to referee Nero Fernando. Goal line passing now. Score on the ball. But Nero is not happy with the advantage. He's playing quite rightly. Treaty did not raise 10 meters. He played the advantage. There was no advantage. And then the penalty has been given to Royal. To Will Royal put the three points, then the three points. I'm sure they would like to have some points on the board. They may lose the game, that's a different story. But they will know. But you got you got you got some more time. Three points must be on. Exactly. They must get the three points on the board because it gives you a huge morale boost when you have to show when you look at the scoreboard and you have points on the board and you start building score by score. As you see the conversion of the previous try as a beautiful shot as it goes right through the uprights and the touch judges flags go up. And here's Royal waiting for the kick. No, the conversion is going straight. That's it. That hits the roof of the commentator's box. But the kick has gone straight. And all are excited to get uh, three points to Royal. But Royal are not got it. But there's a substitution that's coming in for Royal College. As you can see, the, the fourth official, Mahesh Sharanayaka, holding that the uh, numbers up, the board up. Nipun Peter Singer replacing Tanuja. 3D is making a substitution too. Quick substitution, tit for tat. You get one guy on, I get another guy on. Fresh legs will do a world of good. We like to see some okay. more expansive rugby. Despite the score being 33 nil, I think we've all enjoyed the rugby. It's expansive stuff, great movement, uh, and across the pitch as well. Oh, hats off to the 30, 30, 30 plus boys on the field. We enjoyed it thoroughly. There's no doubt about that. We did done well. He called the mark, but he should play on. He can't say and appeal to the referee. He say I marked it, sir. Royal faces, you can tell it, and you can tell the three D faces. There's no doubt about it. Very clear, very clear today. The first leg wasn't as clear as this in terms of the crowd. But today, we are having the Royalists in their own den, shell-shocked for a moment. And the Trinity Lion is roaring and roaring with a pride. There we see various people in the cage. They are not the lions in the cage. The lions have got their teeth back to bite. As you see, Ravi shaking his head vigorously, not agreeing to any of our comments. But I'm sure he's enjoying the game. Heart of heart, he wants a royal win, but he loves a beautiful game. That's the strength of a true sportsman. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, we go back to Arthur, we go back to 1980, 79-80. That's the time when we played the Bradley. And he was my opposite prop. And we have been having contacts, we have been friends. Uh, he has been played rugby at a high level. And when I, as a referee, I come in contact with him, manager of the national team, to the national selector. Back. All that. We, go back. we have been always keeping contact. That's the beauty of rugby, that's the beauty of sports. We should continue our friendship, comradeship. No matter what happens in the season, it doesn't matter what club or club school you play. Exactly. The sport is larger than all the cricket differences. As you see a little bit of uh, disorganized play out there. The last 10 minutes have been very disorganized rugby. No plan, no sports. One side gets the other one. They keep on recruiting like that. And meanwhile, pretty sneak in a try. Royal missed the three points. At the moment, Royal has a position. And they are definitely on the verge of putting something on the board. There's no doubt about that. Come on. The points like a bottle in a... Always, everywhere. In defense, in the attack. And what a good service he did to the national under-20 side last year, Arthur. Tremendous potential. Oh, accidental offside there. Ah, uh, the face tells it all. I like to see the replay because I thought when he was tackled right down, he kept, he kept his composure and always kept it to play and made the ball available. Beautiful play out there by the Royal Skipper. He did that. Look at that. Now you see. 
Robbins comes across inside to make sure the ball is available for his mates. And there you go, the Royal Pro gets in the way. There's the other angle, beautiful play, beautiful stuff. He cuts in, keeps his composure, makes the ball available. And then we have the Royal Prop getting offside, running into his own mate. I must say a big thank you and well done to the Rupa and the camera people. They got the angles right, they got beautiful pictures coming in. And to the entire staff, they've done a good job. Oh, look at that one. That is Mr. Silva. I'm sure I think I got the name right. Robbie Vijinathan's classmate. I was told about that. The whole Every volley. single vantage point has been taken and as, for, as seen, as seen, even the top of the trees, people are out there watching the thing as much as they are on top of the uh, pavilion. Beautiful stuff there. No, no place is too high to climb if you want to watch the Bradby. Thank you. Uh, it's been fantastic here. Oh, there are lovely pictures, lovely stuff too. And I will leave it to the legend, Rajit Abhirata, former Freddy Lion, to continue. Thank you, Shenmil, SVW Chang, that was expert uh, rugby comments by him. What a mesmerizing performance by Trinity. They did this against so many sides this year. And when Tanushan asked me the question at the beginning of the game, I said 30 pointer for Trinity, because that's a talent they have. And they have come out in all their glory this evening and performed magnificently on this ground here at Royal. Mark, it was the three years ago when they did the same thing with Mirinda Gunavanana's 14 pressure-laden side. And this round seems to be a good round on Trinity and Bokamara seems to be happy hunting grounds for Royal. Well, it seems <laughs> like somebody has... Uh, she's very concerned. She looks very upset. Where is she? My goodness. Is she standing on the roof somewhere? The scale the heights. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perko, she's next to our main camera. Perko, Royal College now with a little bit of work to do. It really is the writing on the wall. Backs to the wall, Royal College. They have to sort it out. Trying to get the anchor open is tough, but Trinity, it's all gone to strip. It's been a magnificent day. It's been almost a mythical day for Trinity College, I think. Yes, indeed. But here's Royal just trying to make some amends here. They have been knocked down to a pedestrian type of performance by this red pack by 20. What a mesmerizing performance. They just uh, took the front five on and uh, surely it's again Royals mesmerized, making so many mistakes. Tandashan. Well, yes, I think they're suddenly shell-shocked. They're just trying to work themselves out. They lost their main player in the number 10, who's the, the, the architect, really. The skipper is trying as his hardest to try and inspire from the front, but it's not easy. Here's a penalty, here's a chance. What yes. will Royal do? They're going to run it. Oh, and the, and the litany of mistakes carries on, Ajit. Yes, I think the type of pressure that Trinity is putting on them, uh, Royal, is, they're littered, littered by errors. Knocked down to a pedestrian performance, making so many mistakes. That's the story about pressure, Chandrashan. Absolutely, pressure readjusts everybody's brain and it's the only players who... Have a look at this, here it is now. Simple, boom, simple tackle. Big forward. You don't let, you don't drop that ball. You never give that ball away in a little soft tackle like that. Here we go now. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Royal have been here for the last six or seven minutes now. They need to try and convert some points onto the board. 33 unanswered points by Trinity College has been a spectacular performance. 25 points ahead on the Bradley back, itself. Back, back. It is a big win for Trinity on this ground. Maybe one of their biggest, uh, I believe, under BNR Fernando in 2003 or 4. They got uh, 35 odd points. But this is going to be even better, I think, if uh, Trinity would pull out of this uh, little situation here. Absolutely. Looks like a, a really tough day for Royal College rugby, despite all of it. Beautifully done, nicely. Nice step in there from the stand-up. The number 10 there, beautifully done. Where is he going to go? Where are his numbers? Goodness. What hesitation I did. That is significant of the whole day today for Royal College. Whom do I pass the ball to? Really great psychological damage caused by Trinity this time on the Royal side. 
can't they've see. Seem to be thinking, thinking right now. They've broken they've, them. They've lost broken their way. Their back. They've uh, shattered the front row. They really have torn it to part. Look, look at that. Look at that. That's attitude. That's what you want. Well, that intrinsic strength driving at that angle. That's tremendous. And In seeking the ball. Spray. The number 10 buttoned up again. Really has to present ball on the right side. Where is it? He's lost it. Turnover. Here are going from the back. Settles the matter. That's why our side is in a very charitable mood. They're just handing things to Trinity on a plate. And Trinity gleefully accepting everything that's coming their way. I think if you look at the face of uh, the, the royal coach, Asanga Rodrigo, the royal coach, his face sums it up, I think. I rather think it's a very, very difficult face. But we should try and give you a, at home a shot of that to see how difficult it is for him as a coach. My goodness, Asanga would be going through all sorts in his mind. There he is at the back there, Dr. Fred next to him. It's very pedestrian again, slow motion stuff by Royal and Trinity waiting on the fringes. This is where they have improved their game in the second leg. Their fringe defense has been excellent, knocking Royal back around back, the corners, the and the that's a really paid dividends. Royal have lost their way. Where's that kick? Fairly productive. Oh, very productive kick. The wingman just couldn't get there in time, otherwise there was a little bit of a gift for him. At Bamla Pitya, the score is coming through from Bamla Pitya. 33-15 for Isipatana. Unbelievable. St. Peter's coming a cropper in Bamba as well. So difficult days. 35-15. Isipatana leading is a score in Bamba. It was pretty much the semi-final of the league because Royal had to win today and they would have pretty much taken the league and the game against St. Peter's had they won would have been a final. I don't think today's match has any bearing. No, it's not because yeah. today is a league game. So Royal not still. It's a friendly game. It's a friendly, it's, it's class is a friendly game because that first leg was a league game. That's right. So for all of you at home, remember, the first Bradby leg was part of the single league. That counts. This counts as a friendly. No. I some mistakes here at Royal, stumbling no along. No yeah, no seem to be. Uh, really uh, not getting it together today and you can't imagine this is the same side that seems so confident at Bogambara. They have just gone to pieces here and uh, absolutely, celebrating, absolutely. celebrating a massive great psychological victory. And we are wondering, we are, the question is, well, what was their previous side doing in the first leg? Precisely. Well, they won the second half and they started to believe in themselves. Here's Paterana. Paterana soldiering on bravely. But not much support from the rest of his forwards. But uh, Trinity uh, really got their defensive act together. They are very aggressive in defense, bigger, very vigorous in the And uh, this has really knocked the rhythm out of the Royal normal type of play. To 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 they've had unbelievable mixed fortunes. They uh, beat St. Peter's the defending champions in Bamba. And then and then lost to Science College in the middle of nowhere. Unbelievable. And here at Royal College in the den, absolutely slamming Royal College. You really have to look at look at that. It's slow play going yeah, backwards. That drive tells a story. That's it certainly really, does. That's the defense that I was talking about. Very vigorous, very aggressive defense. Playing right up in your face type of play. That's it. That's the, the defense is targeting really well, Ajit. They've got their markers on the opposite numbers and they're hitting and they're not content to tackle and stop. They're content to tackle and drive the tackle back and drop him maybe five meters back. Good, good, policy. simple okay. policy. Yes, and that knocked the rhythm okay. of the momentum of the Royal Forwards. They really got knocked back. And Printy on the rampage here. This is 33 points to nil uh, with a 25-pointer lead uh, with uh, 10 minutes to go. Uh, we could have even a bigger score. We're going to the 40s and then Trinity, indeed this will be a record score for Trinity here in Colombo. It certainly will. 33 unanswered points.